Definitely looks like there's some kind of a breakup separation, okay? There could have been something that was very stable, secure. I'm seeing probably a divorce separation. Um, something that ended, okay, which was long term, all right? Someone either was is not being able to commit or someone needs to end a long term commitment, okay? Something was a big burden on you in the past. Okay, something was overwhelming, probably a lot of responsibilities, a lot of tasks, a lot of burdens that you had to handle on your own. Looks like you did let go of a situation that was becoming too much on you. Okay, probably you were struggling to get to a point of stability and security with this person. Maybe you wanted marriage with this person, but you were probably the only one doing all the work here with no effort from the other person's side. There is someone here, okay, who's feeling very guilty and wanting to come back towards you whilst you're holding back. You're in the state of shutdown right now. I think you're wanting to offer anything to this person right now. Whilst this person is also not taking action. They have a lot of passion for you, but they're not taking action towards you. Someone definitely wants to return to you. This is someone you're dealing with, you know, who has a very on and off connection with you, okay? They have a tendency to keep running back towards you. You know, so they'll leave you, they'll let you go, they'll be deceitful, they'll be, you know, lying, cheating, or at least they won't let you know what the real feelings are or the, what the real intentions are. And more like an escape is that you're dealing with, okay? But every single time they run away from you, they realize that they want you back, okay? And then they keep coming back and you keep giving them a million chances. Let's see. So the outcome here with the strength here, I feel there's a lot of resistance or holding back from your side trying to tame your emotions for this person maybe you have a lot of emotions for this person and you're just trying to hold back and trying to tame the situation you know holding on to that aggression and holding on to that love that you have from this person you know a lot of resistance from your side that's it what's the four of wands in reverse why is the four of wands in reverse You could have been waiting for someone to come towards you, okay? Come towards you, wanting to choose you. <clears throat> but definitely there's someone here who probably has a lot of options or you feel like you're an option in this person's life, okay? This person's holding back their emotions, which is making you feel left out in the cold. So there could have been a separation, a breakup, because there's someone here who's holding back, okay? They're resisting from giving you what you want or resisting at least more like sabotaging what they want with you, Okay. Which is why there's so much instability and insecurity within the connection. You guys are just not, you know, coming into harmony with each other. Because again, someone either is keeping their options open or there's a lot of confusion around you, okay? You just don't know what this person wants or what, I mean, you know, they're wanting to offer you. But it's just making you feel very isolated and very lonely in the relationship. Like I said before, right? You could be the only one doing it and putting in all the work here. But you're fed up of waiting for this person, okay? You've manifested this person for a very long time, but now you're just losing your patience. You're not waiting for them anymore. You're turning your back to this, this situation because it just doesn't get into that zone that you want it to, okay? A lot of holding back, okay? A lot of holding back here. It could be dealing with a Leo, but that holding back is making you feel like an option and you're feeling very left out, okay? You feel like you're constantly being abandoned by this person. All right, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords and Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Okay, now this is definitely a relationship that was once very, very stable. Okay, it was very stable, but I think this person turned out to be very toxic. Okay, and uh, due to some reason, you had to release this person go because they were constantly very codependent. Okay, there was some kind of fear here. Okay, because we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse clarified by the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, which means there's a lot of stress, anxiety around the situation. I'm getting very strongly that there could be someone here who's married. Or someone who's already involved with another person in a long-term long -term commitment or there's a lot of stress around a situation about wanting this with you okay or you wanting this with someone else but with the four of swords here this is someone who's probably healing from this connection okay trying to take a break trying to take a time out okay and that's stressing the opposite person out i think this break 
is getting even worse okay the break probably there's no communication between you guys okay someone wants this with you but i think you refuse to talk to this person which is leading to a lot of stress and worry in this person's mind because there's been a breakup here for sure okay whoever wanted this with the other person right one person has left the situation okay you left a situation that was just not holding its stability okay over there was just no long term no longevity right and i think because you're not communicating with this person that's just leading to a lot of stress and panic mode okay it's putting this other person into panic mode here because you're choosing to keep quiet you know and you've released someone very very toxic okay someone who probably had a lot of codependency issues or someone who had a lot of fear or someone who would keep doing the same thing over and over again and keep you very uh, uh, strung along you know they would string you along in the relationship and you just wouldn't know where it's going see seven of cups you just don't know what this connection is about maybe you've been dreaming a lot about this person but you weren't thinking practically okay and i was like your bubbles burst it is what i'm getting what's the knight of pentacles in the near future You're trusting your intuition and closing out a cycle. You are. I think you're taking baby steps and you're moving forward from this person here. Hundred percent. Your intuition is asking you to let this person go, okay? Because it's just not working out, right? And in fact, it's creating more stress. And now I think you're not even responding to this person. See, four of swords, right? That's no contact, no communication. You refuse to talk about it. Probably you're doing a lot of thinking, or you just need some time out. You just need some space. All right, which is leading to a lot of anxiety. Okay, probably this person needs some time and space, and that's leading to a lot of stress and anxiety, sleepless nights for you. But someone needs some space and time out. Okay, someone needs some time to think about a situation, which is leading to a lot of um, overthinking, over analyzing. Okay, someone's just constantly manifesting their negative thoughts into reality here. But now someone wants this. Now that you've let this go, this is a situation where now someone wants. But there's just no communication. In the near future, I feel you're taking your step out, okay? You're taking baby steps. You're ending a cycle out here. You're closing a chapter. And you've reached a milestone with this person. But your intuition is asking you to let this person go, okay? Whilst this person watches you, okay? There's spying, stalking, a lot of stalking. But there's just no communication from this person's side. Because this is someone who's not being able to express how they really feel, okay? Someone very immature that you're dealing with, okay? With the page of swords in reverse here. But uh, the page of swords in reverse to me is someone, you know, who's just not talking, okay? They they just, again, they stalk, they watch, but they don't interact with you directly, okay? So, yeah. They're just collecting, gathering all the information from their sources, but they won't talk. I mean, they're watching from far. That's about it. Once you are like, you know what? My intuition is telling me to shut this off with this person, and that's what you're doing. You're moving away from this person now, slowly but steadily. What's the ace of wands in reverse? Do you know what someone who's feeling very guilty, okay? They're coming back. What's the ace of wands in reverse? <sighs> yeah, that's what I said. They're coming back. Someone's coming back here. They want to heal the situation, okay? But you're giving them the uh, you're giving them the um, the cold shoulder. You're very withdrawn. I don't think you want to talk to this person at all. That's why things are not picking up. This person wants a new start with you, okay? Probably they're thinking a lot about it, but this person is returning back. If this person is, they're stuck on you, okay? Okay, they want to recover the situation. They want to heal from the situation. They want forgiveness, okay? They want a peaceful resolution, like, you know, let's kiss and make up kind of situation. Or at least this person is feeling very uh, bad about whatever happened, okay? But they're wanting to get back to you for sure. They want a reconciliation. They're stuck on you. They can't move on. But I don't think you're interested because with the hermit here, you're giving them the silent treatment. You're happy on your own, you know? I'm getting more like you're so happy where you are. You choose to be left alone. You're just withdrawing, isolating yourself. You're flying solo right now, okay? Because there is a disconnect out here, okay? But you want to spend more time with yourself. You're exhausted or something, okay? But you're being very quiet, a withdrawn, retreating, okay? But I think you're being you're being very practical and logical right now is what I'm getting, okay? Whilst this person is very stuck on you. you you're doing the right thing here. You're being very wise out here. 
this could also be the person that you're dealing with who's done a lot of thinking okay who's probably goes to you okay but they've come up to a realization that they can't move on from you and they want things to happen with you okay ace of wands in reverse is someone you know who wants who there is a lot of passion here but there's no action being taken so again this isn't their intentions to come towards you but they're just not taking the action once you hold back you could be dealing with someone non-committal okay someone commitment phobic what's the seven of swords in reverse here You're dealing with someone who does a lot of thinking, but they don't do any action, but they don't take any action. Okay. Yeah. Someone's not letting you go. Aquarius, they're not letting you go. This is someone who you had a one-sided situation with. Okay. They see you as the empress here. This person sees you as the one, okay? They want something very committed with you. They want marriage with you. They see you as marriage material. They know you got your shit together okay they want a new beginning with you they want abundance okay they want you to nurture the connection again they want growth expansion but uh they know your worth they know how amazing you are okay they're very attracted to you and um, they want to move forward they want a future with you they want to make something happen with you but with the three of pentacles here this is someone who you've worked with before okay and you just seem to be hitting a wall with them okay that's the kind of person that's coming back towards you they're very guilty with the seven of swords in reverse here they want to turn on your leaf. They want to make a straightforward approach to you. But it's a seven of swords, right? That's what's the annoying part of here. They keep doing this, you know. And with the death in reverse here. So neither will they take action towards you, nor will they let you go. Okay. There, there is an ending here. It's an ir inevitable ending, okay. But they seem to keep trying to hold on to you as much as they can. The moment, you know what I'm getting? The moment you shut yourself off, they crave to come back to you. Okay. The moment you open up to them, they tend to run away again. So it's like... You're going in cycles with them, okay? You're going in circles with them, but they just don't seem to change that approach. I just don't like the Seven of Swords. It's a very deceptive energy, okay? Someone who's constantly trying to manipulate the situation, you know, trying to get away. That's a taker. That's a taker, the Seven of Swords. They only take, 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 take. They never have anything to give. The moment they're done with their quota of taking and there's nothing left, they come back to you again to take. Again, they leave after taking what they want. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting here. This person could be, you know, making you feel like something is very committed or something can happen between you guys. But there's like the very hot and cold behavior, okay? But this time, I think you're choosing to walk away from them. And whilst this person is stuck on you, okay? They know they've hurt you and they want to make things better with you. With a hermit here, dealing with someone definitely who's ghosted you, okay? They could have just like completely stop communication with you. But that was because they were doing a lot of thinking, okay? About soul searching about what they want to do with you. But anyways, with the, um, I think this person keeps thinking that things will not work out with you. This is a very negative thinker, you know, someone who feels that bad luck is on their side. Luck is not in their favor. Universe is not on their side, stuff like that. Or they always keep thinking that something will go wrong. Something will go wrong, you know. See the nine of swords here, right? Someone's very fearful of commitment. Someone's very scared of wanting commitment, okay? It's not only with you. Probably this is just how this person is. I don't see the hierophant here. But still, what's the strength here? The outcome is you're holding back. Or someone's holding back. What's the strength? <sighs> you're choosing to be single, sweetheart. You are. You're releasing this toxic person here. You're letting go of someone who's just been super crazy in your life. Okay? You are. You're choosing you. You're choosing to work on yourself. Work on your uh, yourself. Your focus is your independence. You know, your happiness. You're working on your goals, your business, your money, etc. This person's coming in with an offer, probably even an apology, wanting to open up, express themselves emotionally. Okay? But you're releasing them. Because you're detaching from them. You could have been very attached to this person, okay? Possessive, probably, okay? You just felt like you could never get out of this person. But you're getting into more of an independent energy, you know? Um, you're literally not feeding into the temptation of taking this person back this time. Because you've had it. You're done. You're getting over this obsession or addiction that you had to this person here. This person seems to be very toxic, okay? 
like they have like some kind of heavy dependency on some kind of belief system a thought pattern emotion person place whatever but this person made you feel very restricted you felt you could never get out of this person okay because you felt very tied bound to them but you're letting it go you're releasing this person and you're holding back and with the strength here dude you're gonna do it okay this person can kick rocks is what you're saying because you're okay on your own. This is not nine of pentacles. It's not the energy of where, oh, well, I'm like the victim out here. I just don't have a choice. There is no one here or, you know. If this is someone who's choosing to be single, baby. You're choosing to be single. Although they are coming in with that love. But you're like, adios. Done and dusted, baby. You've done this like a hundred million times and it just doesn't seem to work out. And I ain't got no time for this bullshit is what you're telling them. Okay. So I feel earlier this person had a lot of resistance. They kept holding back from you, which made you feel very isolated, okay? Very lonely, this relationship. And they always put you in a spot where you didn't know what happened or where, where you were standing. A lot of confusion, a lot of mixed signals from this person. The tables have turned and this time you're the one who's holding back, okay? Once this person is stuck on you. Well, again, they're still not taking action. They're thinking a lot about it. That's one of the reasons why they're not taking action. The hermit. This is someone who doesn't know how to switch off. You know, someone who doesn't know how to snap out of that isolation energy you know because when you overdo the hermit you get into isolation okay you just don't know you just get more and more into it and when you start overthinking over analyzing that's what the fuck up is here otherwise they, they would have taken action okay they're not letting you go babe they're not letting you go definitely something you were like you know what i'm fed up you just didn't feel appreciated for the kind of investment you put into this connection but like you're holding back you're in a state of shutdown. Like you're like a box now, you know, like this person has no way to enter. They're going to have to work really hard to get you to, to be with them is what I'm getting. Okay. But the tables have turned sweetheart. They have. I love it. That's what I have for you, queries. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.